Listen, if I was stalling, I would have picked up a cat along the way so that I could introduce you to Ellie if you haven't met her already. Oh, Ellie, come on. Ellie, Ellie, please. See, Harvey and Ellie are very different cats. She's like, I hate, I hate this and I will fight you. Cause, ugh. Ellie, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Okay. Let her go. Maybe, maybe she'll come up. Maybe she'll join us. She's also quieter than Harvey, so she can be in here, but Harvey cannot. Okay. Okay. All right. A <laughs> cat flail. Yeah, she does. She flails a lot. All right. So stop coming over here, would you? Is he coming towards or going away? He's going away. I wonder what would happen if I closed him in this room that he just went in. Oh no, he's chasing me. Oh, he's chasing me. I fucked up, I fucked up. This is the wrong thing to do. I fucked up, I fucked up. I understand what I did was wrong. It worked. I just clicked the thing. I don't know what, where I'm supposed to go. I assume transport, right? But the door closed and I'm happy. You know what? We don't have to leave this elevator. We could just stay in here forever. Just go up and down between the floors. Fuck this game. Actually, you know what? It's fine. We'll just stay in here. It's fine. Like I said, now we're just permanently in here. He can't get in. We can't get out. That's fine. Yeah, see a nerd. Get lost. Have fun on the laboratory floor. What the fuck am I supposed to do now? For real. Dude, you had one job to go down the elevator shaft and you fell like 500 feet. Oh, the, what the fuck is this bullshit? This is even worse. Where are we now? Oh, gross. What's this room? Oh, God. Too much goop. Zero out of ten. Oh, my God. Dear Lord. Ugh. I'm having an emotional crisis. I thought, I thought it was behind me. Pico, you're watching this while hiding under a blanket? Clearly I need that. Give me, give me this. Just give me this blanket. I need Ooh. it. 
It's just... okay. What? It's over now. Relax. Ashley? Were we delusional? What are you doing here? All right, I feel a little better. Like couples do. Oh my god. You don't want me? Yes, of course, but... What happened? We fell in love. I don't know if we're gonna finish this game today, you guys. This is a lot. This is a lot. I can't see shit. Don't remember that at all. I... Oh, we almost became one of them. We almost became one of the wall dudes. That would have been a rough day. Uh, so, I'm I'm betting that that Dave only happens if you go through that door, which we were unfortunate, or this door, which we were unfortunate enough to have decided to have done. Uh, if I had just gone straight, I bet it wouldn't have happened. And that is mean. Game. That was mean. That was, like, legitimately the most scared I've ever been while playing a game. What? Did you say something? Fuck this game. I would like to go... Oh, I guess we can't go that way. Alright, well, it went great last time, so let's try this other door. You know what? Let's just lock ourselves in here. I don't see what could possibly go wrong. Game, are you for real? Is this the same, like, area? It's walking around in here, too? This is garbage. Oh my god, is he just like a giant testicle? He is. He just has a testicle head. It's 3 a.m. for fuck's sake! <laughs> Pika, I'm so sorry. Thank you for suffering through this with me. I couldn't do it alone. I'm sure you all know. The doors open slower. I want everyone to be aware of that. That the doors now are slower to open and close. I could really use some goop right now. Is this... Can we not crawl through there? What's wrong with this game? It's only been an hour and a half. I've only been playing for an hour and a half. This is actually unreal. It feels like I've been playing for days. What are you screaming for? Am I enjoying it? Does it look like I'm having a good time? 
Um, I enjoy the parts that aren't like this, to answer your question seriously. Um. Shut up. The parts that aren't like this, I actually think are very interesting. I think this game asks a lot of very cool questions. Um, but like, it just, I don't play horror games. This is maybe the first time I've ever seriously played a horror game. Um, I played like, God. I played maybe three hours of amnesia after watching someone play it. No, don't go back. Um, I played like a tiny bit of Outlast, maybe like an hour at most. I played, and that was just like on Halloween with friends, um, just keep walking, just keep walking, just keep fucking walking. Just close that fucking door, just give me the scoop. Um, uh. I'm sorry, I can't even fully answer the question because I'm just freaking out. Um, but, like, I, I don't play horror games for fun, uh, is what I was getting at. And I think the stories are really cool. Like, I think that, that like, horror... Wait, why did I unpause? I think that horror concepts are really interesting like i'll watch suspenseful movies I, I like horror themed tv shows you know but anything that's like truly scary is just not really my jam i don't think that being scared is fun um but this like this game asks a lot of really interesting scientific questions about like consciousness and what makes a person a person like what makes what 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 is it like to be human compared to anything else is a a robot with a human brain that's fully conscious, has a fully capable mind, indistinguishable from a from a human being's mind. Does that make it human? Uh, I think those are really cool questions. Um, and this game does a really good job of asking those questions. But, like, I don't like having the ever-living daylight scared out of me to get those answers. Uh, this game is also doing a very good job of constantly, oh, now I know where we are, of constantly presenting me with pathways. I've got, so like, here's a good example, right? I could go left here, I could go straight to go back to where I was, right? Um... by giving me all these choices of paths. Oh, well, how'd you get in here? Am I supposed to go in here? Okay. It needs to be more gore jump scares. 
kind of thing. You listened to a horror story the other night and had two subsequent nightmares. It was great, but but yeah, um, this is great body horror. Oh, go away. I feel like I have to go in that room because he's hanging out. Excellent. Uh, I don't want to use the goop because it'll call him. Hate that noise. Uh, I hope that my point there came to a conclusion because lately I've noticed that I'll start talking about something and trail off and then completely forget to circle back to it. So, all right, there's our next goal. I'd rather if you didn't, just don't come in here. What do you need in here? Yeah, just keep walking. Keep walking, spooky man. Existential horror. This is a game of existential horror. That's a good way to put it. You do that way too much. It's very easy to do. Just start talking about something and then... like crouching over and like leaning in oh my god damn hey thank you so much for that follow dear lord if i i just want to say if i ever like go to pax and the frictional games people are there um at a booth or whatever i'm like gonna go up and shake their hand and like congratulate them being like you made a fucking stellar game, and I hate you. <laughs> um, Azio, do you prefer Azio or just Zio? Let me know how you prefer your name to be pronounced, but welcome in. I hope you enjoy my suffering here. At Zio. Gotcha. Thank you. Appreciate it. I thought that was a person. It is a person. Oh god, I thought it was an evil guy though. It's this is just a regular guy who's having a rough day. Okay. Let's go ahead and open this door. Turn off the light. I am so ready to be done with this area, let me tell you. Okay. There's so many of these guys. Ezio, have you played this game? I assume you have. It's been out for a while. I feel like I feel like if you are watching this game, you have played it and and know. Oh, you're thinking about playing it. It is, uh, I will say the game is awesome. It's scary as fuck. Oh no, leave me alone. Leave me alone. <laughs> oh, whoops. <laughs> uh, it's fine, it's fine. I was in a really bad spot there. I'm getting too close to the, to the guy. Um. But it's the the storyline of this game is phenomenal. I will say that, absolutely phenomenal. Um, I am not good with horror games, 
But if you like horror games, I'd say this is a must play. Just looking through horror games on Twitch. Have you played Amnesia? Because Amnesia is another really good one. Have I tried to befriend him? Oh, hey, British. I didn't see you there. Um, you know, I've tried giving him a hug a couple times, and he didn't seem very... Or he seemed overly receptive, actually. It was just a bit too much. He's just a little bit too friendly. Alright, cool, he's behind me. I do like that at least if I close the door, I might get a heads up if he's behind me. God, the, the like, <laughs> another late finish at work. Oh, that sucks. I uh, haven't played Amnesia, but didn't, you have played Amnesia, but didn't really like it. Uh, you're not good at maze games. Yeah, no, I feel you. This game does have a little bit of that. It's the same makers, so there's a lot of overlap in the actual game mechanics, but the story of this one's a lot better. Um, uh, FNAF. Which one is that? Um, I'm not familiar with the acronym. <laughs> Tell him I think he looks cute. <laughs> uh, play, uh, Remothered. Ooh. Oh, Five Nights at Freddy's. Oh, of course, of course. Five Nights at Freddy's. I haven't played that. I can't do the jump scares. The jump scares are too much for me. Uh, is this how we came in? Where do we go from here? Am I just, like, in the wrong room? Because that would suck. Just open the door. Turn off the light. Ellie? Which way are you going, man? This way? It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We're just gonna go right past him. We're gonna close the door behind him. So he's in here for at least a minute. Let's go. We can't go this way. Why can't we go this way? There's a thing on the wall. Power failure, recharge service battery. I heard you open the door, sir. I'm just gonna keep walking away. And you will not notice me. Oh, I can go. Oh, there's a little safe spot. This is my new favorite place in the game. Just gonna... Play, played every single one. The jump scares are crazy. Yeah, I've watched people play that, and I, I can't fucking do it, man. <laughs> this is too much already. In this game, it, like, gives you ample warning that anything will happen. I'm just like, nope. These guys, you can pretty much avoid them. It's just like when you see them, it's really freaky. I don't know where I'm supposed to go, actually. I am... I am not sure what I'm supposed to do right now. Don't scream! Can't stay much longer because you're exhausted pretty late for you. You're from Poland. Oh, cool. Um, yeah, yeah, no, thanks again for that follow. Uh, I definitely recommend this game. I recommend checking it out. If, uh, yeah... If, You'll probably really like it. I feel like it has to be in this room, right? We have to go to this room. There must be something to do in here. Yeah, have a great night. Thanks again. Remothered is a game when you get stalked in a house and have to hide us. I don't, I don't know. Like, 
Y'all seem to really like watching me play these games, but this might be just a, a Halloween occasion for me. I don't... Oh, I see. Great. I want to see which way he comes in here. Is he going away? Uh, sir, you have to come this way? Excuse me. Excuse me. I have to go that way, so you have to come this way. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Just keep walking, just keep swimming, swimming. What do we do? We swim, swim, swim. Da, 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 da. Swim. All right, we did it, we did it, we did it. GG's, GG's, we beat the game. This area is lighter, so we're out of the scariness. That's how I know that. Let's jump. Oh, saving. Oh, oh, wait, we sink. Aha. Let's get out of the water. I'd like to be anywhere but in the water. All right, you guys, I, yes, thank you. Thank you, Dave, for the GGs. I have earned these GGs. I don't need this comfort blanket. Oh, hey, Ellie. Oh, bye, Ellie. <sighs> oh my God, that was rough. That was really difficult. That was like actually horrifying. Uh, indie game, low budget, but pulls it off. I mean, indie games are my jam. Playing kill it at fire, uh, kill it with fire at the moment where you kill spiders. That sounds kind of fun, actually. Uh, you just played happy game. It's horror, but it's really just dark themed puzzle game. You guys have all these really interesting game recommendations. I'm like, I'm just gonna have to write them all down. In fact, I'm going to do that right now. Let's see. We had remothered. I want to look that up. Get my pen. Ha! Huh. This is my reward. I have a reward right now for getting through that. I can take a break and write down some, some horror game names. Okay, remothered. Blair Witch. From the makers of Machinarium. Oh, I have seen that one. I might even own it. Happy. Is it just called Happy? Oh, I loved Slime Rancher. Loved Slime Rancher. I saw that they announced an, uh, Slime Rancher 2. I'm definitely going to play that. I really liked it. Layers of Fear. Ooh. Horror is commonly indie. Or maybe you just watch a lot of indie horror games. I, well, I think that horror games have a really difficult time becoming mainstream because they have, they uh, are good for a very niche audience, right? It's hard to get a lot of people to play a horror game. So therefore, indie just kind of makes more sense for being a lower budget. Uh, you're not going to get as many AAA horror games. You strongly disliked Layers of Fear? Oh, it's just called Happy Game. Okay. Alright, cool. Uh, Slime Rancher was good and the end song is still one of your favorites. I remember noting the end song and like remembering it from somewhere. It was like a licensed song, wasn't it? Or like a, a cover or something? I, I remember noting the song at the end. And I remember liking it. I, I just really enjoyed Slime Rancher. I thought it was really cute. Is this... Where I'm supposed to go? I can't go up this ladder, right? No, I... Don't fall, man. I don't think I can go up that one because it's on the wrong side. Let's just go down. Ellie, what do you want? What you doing? She's like, please let me out of the room. 
don't come back up? Nope, she does not. Okay. Ooh, I'm just allowing myself to take a breath of fresh air after that. That was so scary. That was so hard. You put like 40 hours into that game, into um, uh, uh, Slime Rancher or Blair Witch? Because I put around that number of hours into Slime Rancher too. It's funny, I played it because uh, KY recommended it to me. And I looked at it and I thought it looked really goofy. So I was like, I don't know if this is something I'm going to stream. So I didn't. And then, am I supposed to just like jump down here? I guess. Um, I ended up just really liking it. And then after like 20 hours, I was like, I, I regret not streaming this. I guess that was what I was supposed to do. I hope I don't need that. Oh, okay. Well, it didn't fall anyways. Do we have to go back into a dark, spooky corridor? Is this really what we're coming to? What was my favorite slime? I, I liked... The tabby slimes were just really cute, but there was a... I liked, um... There was a different one that I really liked, too. I liked the little planet ones. There were a lot of really cute slime. Uh, and, like, I liked, you know, interbreeding the different slimes and getting the, the crossbreeds. Like, I get that, that that's, like, the point of the game, but uh, just finding all the combos I really liked. Like, let's put cat ears on everything! <laughs> If on a winter's horror travels is free, short pixel art is gorgeous. Last suggestion, because I think you'd like the art. Hey, I love game suggestions. Never, uh, never shy away from giving me uh, game suggestions. Um, uh, and if it's ever like at a point in the game where I really can't pause and write it down, you can always, like, post it in Discord, and I always look them up. Um, I'm always looking for, for games. Do I, do I like dungeon crawlers? I haven't played that many. Uh, if on a winter's fortress. Yeah, I gotcha. Um. <gasps> For dungeon crawlers, what have I played? Um, I, I, I don't know that many in the genre, to be honest, but I did really like... What the fuck is it called? I'm so disoriented now. We're outside. Okay, we made it. Uh, Undermine. Yes, I have seen that. But what's... There's this one where it's kind of turn-based, but not really... You have four um, characters, and you can assign them different objects. And the first game, you kind of navigate through a through like a true dungeon, right? The second game is more open world, and it like wasn't super well advertised, but it was an amazing follow up. What the fuck was that game called? Um, oh, does anyone know what I'm talking about? It was kind of puzzly. Um, Legend of Grimrock. Yes. Legend of Grimrock. Oh, yeah, Bridge, you got it. Um, I played through the entire first game and really liked it. And then the second game, I got maybe right. about halfway through and softlocked myself accidentally. And then I never went back and started over. This is pretty, also. This is very pretty. You guys, we did it. We made progress. We got through a really spooky area. I'm so proud of myself. Are these mines? What are these? Undermine, you've put over a hundred hours and only on the third level of the mine. 
I love games like that. That's how I feel about FTL. I'm like 40 hours into FTL and I still haven't won yet. <laughs> um, which I will say, by the way, when I finish Soma, hopefully tonight, kind of doubtful. I don't know how much is left, but it feels like there's at least a couple hours left. I don't know how far we'll get. Power failure. Um, uh, I'm going to be doing several streams of FTL. Uh, my goal is to stream FTL until I beat it. And I've gotten to third phase of the final boss a few times. So, like, I think it'll happen. <laughs> it should happen soon. But, yeah, I'm excited to stream more of it because I really liked streaming FTL. I thought it was going to be boring, but it was not boring to stream at all. It was really fun. Faster than light. Bridge, yeah. Or, uh, British. What's this? This looks neat. Can we go up here? Need to go back and finish the second Legend of Grimrock game. Uh, yeah, it's... I think it was, like, an amazing sequel that, like, no one talks about. Okay. Still no. Manual override. Before flushing, make sure to open valves and turn on the pump. So that probably oh. won't. Better be careful. Okay, okay. Uh, okay, so I guess we have to do one of these first. There we go. So you don't get confused. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, you you were both red, and I was it was right next to each other. And like even the structure of your names is very similar. So just glancing at it, it's like one has a capital T and the other one doesn't. <laughs> do we do we get it? Oh, there's a second one. Yes, you're, but yeah, thank you, thank you, British. I appreciate it. I am uh, still a somewhat new streamer, and my my green shows when uh, I engage with chat <laughs> and try to read people's names. I'm the worst. I'm blue now. <laughs> oh, you're blue now. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, excuse me, game. We're done with the spooky. Okay? You cool with that? You good to be done with the spookiness? I would appreciate it. What does this... Do I need this? Hopefully not. Oh, Catherine, please come back. Catherine? Come back to what? us, Kathy. There you are. Where are we? We're right next to Omicron, a smaller building connected to the main site. Can't you tell? No, my view is pretty limited. There's some heavy restrictions on my system access. Did you find a power suit? Not yet. I'm trying to figure out how to get into Omicron, the big building. Oh, okay. Keep up the good work. That's it? You got nothing? Good luck. Thanks. Catherine, please. Good luck. <laughs> Ellie keeps coming over Kat, and like looking at me. How are you so okay with all this? With what? Being a talking box, for one thing. Not being human. That's not so bad. So, you're not bothered at all by not having a body? I'm getting there. You're making me feel really self-conscious. Come on, be serious. I never felt that comfortable being human in the first place. This isn't much worse. Not being able to move would freak me out. Glad you got the box and not me. 
Would make it a little easier to help out if I had a body, but you're doing a good job. Just figured being able to stretch a little would give you some ease. My physical constraints don't translate to my experience very well. I feel about as human as before, but as if suspended in air. Which is kind of interesting now that I think about it. I, I'm proud of Catherine for being so chill about all this. Also, Pika, thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate Kath, it. Why do you think I was made? Why would this AI, the WoW, bring me here? I don't think we could ever know. I have my own beliefs, but nothing that can be verified. Tell me. The WoW brought us why here? Why do you think the WoW brought me here? The WoW had a range of assignments, but they all sprung from one single idea. Preserve humanity. When the comet hit the Earth, killing everything, leaving a fraction of humanity left alive, the WoW started to compensate. Oh, okay, it's that's interesting. Humanity. I think so, but I don't think we share its definition of human. Or life, for that matter. British, thank you so much for gifting Catherine, a sub to Pika. Are we alive? That's an impossible question to answer. We lack meaningful definitions. Just figured there must be a way to know know if this life is worth living you assume you've changed so much but have you really i don't know i don't feel so different but the world sure does i'm gonna have I to let ellie out how in a much minute the idea of myself depended on where i am how do you mean i miss toronto and not because my friends and family are there but because i know where i fit in in toronto I know who I am. That's an interesting observation. Okay, I'm gonna pause in case Catherine starts talking again. That's so, so the wow is trying to preserve human life? Is that what I understood correctly? Cause that's actually very interesting. I thought that like, I'm glad that they're giving a reason for the, this, you know, these monsters to exist, right? Like, I don't know why they're trying to kill us, but it's cool. Or no, I guess they're trying to catch us to help us also preserve humanity. Ah, it's all, I'm, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Okay, that's cool. Um, I, I, that's really interesting. And yeah, Pika, I really appreciate your kind words and, um, and British. Yeah, I, I really appreciate the, uh, the gift sub. Wanted to hear the Life is Strange music. That was like the very first thing that I put onto my stream is I was like, I love those little the little sound alerts from Life is Strange. How can I get those in here? I have I actually had it as a phone my like ringtone, not my ringtone, but like my text alert was Max's text alert until I got the uh the Pixel 2. The Pixel 2, you can't customize your sound alerts. It's really weird. All right, I'm going to let the cat out because she's just pacing and she she wants to go out. I'll just I'll just open the door for her. You ready? You ready, kitty cat? All right. This is a nice part for explaining the exposition. Yeah, I see that's this is what I've been waiting for. I really wasn't crazy about how much was unexplained in terms of the monster. It felt like there was just a monster here so that there could be a monster rather than just the story, the narrative story. So I'm glad that they, they are intertwining it more now because uh, before it just kind of felt like two overlapping things. Um, just remind you to bring your cat inside. Good plan. I wish that I could let my cats be outdoor cats, but I they they would not do well here. It's four a.m. Oh, Pika. I was actually I was having conversations with my coworkers earlier at the baby shower that I went to, and um, Any idea every who this is not really not that familiar with the people at Omicron. Uh, everybody that um, I was talking to was saying like how late they're staying up. And I was like, oh yeah, I've been staying up too late too. And they're like, yeah, I'm going to bed at like four or six a.m. and then sleeping for a couple hours and then getting up and going to work and then napping later. And I'm like, you got what? I thought I was going to bed late at two. <laughs> uh, what am I supposed to do right now? I, I can't see anything. Oh, oh, 
you mean, oh, I got you, just in your room. You guys go to sleep? <laughs> Stay up all night. All right, no, don't, don't throw the thing. How do I move it around? Uh, how did I do it before? Well, I guess I'll just turn it, right? Is it upside? It's upside down now. I know that there's like a button. It's not that button though. Uh. Oh, there we go. There we go. I did it. I did it. I did it. You guys have played video games before, I swear. <laughs> Why is this so hard? I just want it to line up. It's like I can't push it away, I can only pull it closer. Oh, for the love of God. There we go. So... Do we just have to flip everything? I bet we just have to flip everything, and this is, like, not necessary. It's fine. We'll just fiddle with everything, you know? We'll just mess with the physics. See, like, these games, these horror games, I swear to God, and they do this intentionally, all right? They put you through like emotional turmoil they bring you to your breaking point in horror right they like they scare the shit out of you and then they give you a jump scare because i guess they just can right and then they just give you a puzzle and they're like all right you're in a safe area now here's a 10 piece puzzle now just put it together just 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 here's all the pieces just put the puzzle together and i'm just i'm just over here like oh, what the fuck <laughs> like, excuse me? You want me to do physics? Jesus Christ. Like, you want me to flip a switch? Alright, circuit breaker broke. Okay, maybe we do need this. We can't just flip everything, alright. I don't know which ones we need. You know what, let's just leave it on the floor. Just flip it, just leave it on the floor. We'll just look down as we need it, all right? Uh, I actually can't read it that well. Okay, so we want the bottom three at least. All right. Do we need all these fish spheres? Let's do the top two. Is this like all we need? Are we good? Still says power failure. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, would you look at that? There's like a little light thingy. Oh, I see. So this one doesn't connect to anything. Okay. Oh, the terminal just lit up. Hey, I used my eyeballs and made it happen. See, it's like, so this game gives you like emotional turmoil and then gives you a puzzle and then gives you emotional shame for not being able to just like Tetris the pieces, right? There's a puzzle in the Saw game. Six years later, you're still trying it. <laughs> oh no, Pika sounds like your life. Oh no. Oh, what is on this computer? What could we possibly have needed? Boober, do we have any painkillers left? This tinnitus is becoming crippled. Sorry, we only have heavy stuff left. Morphine level drugs. I'll take it. Feels like my head is about to explode. We can do. That's stuff for emergencies. Besides, Cameron thinks the ringing will settle when JR reaches 100%. Then tell him to hurry the fuck up! 
Should be a matter of hours. Just hang in there. Keep me posted. Yeah, well, um, I have this thing I need to take care of, so I'll talk to you later, okay? Sure thing, Herb. He must have overloaded his black box. Humans have black boxes? Here we do. Company policy. It records your vitals to help medical personnel treat you in case of accidents. That's how I can hear the dead. Right. Yeah, you should be able to data mine black boxes, <laughs> just like the intercom and theta. I like how she was so confused. She's like, what? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's normal. It's normal. The VA has punished you with shame for not getting puzzles right here as well. What's, um, uh, VA is, I always think, is voice actor, but I assume you're talking about something else. Quarantined. Good. Oh. There has to be a way to cancel the lockdown. Have a look around the room. Sure. I can look around the room. But you don't say anything, right? Nope. Okay. Are you hearing that glitched noise? Yeah, what is that? Did you do that, Catherine? What? Never mind. I think I solved it. Solved what? Why do I get the feeling that we just got lured into the back of a van? What are you talking about? I don't like this. I don't like this at all. We're about to release something. This is not going to be fun. <laughs> oh, you meant voice actor. The carry. Okay, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. It was essential that you go watch Cabin in the Woods exactly when you did. That is okay. Cabin in the Woods is a phenomenal movie and everyone should watch it and I highly recommend it. It's like my favorite kind of like horror game because it's almost kind of like a comedy, you know, comedy horror. Uh, Joss, Joss Whedon's... Did I do it wrong? Omicron retracted the quarantine shutters. Lockdown canceled. Oh, I know. I just did it. Okay. Inside. And we want to go inside. I keep What's putting the, the controller down and it presses on, the button. Keep talking with my hands. All right, but we did it. Good job, us. Um, but yeah, I I love Cabin in the Woods. It's so so good. Definitely a horror. Yeah, it's it's like a horror, but like it has all these callbacks. I won't spoil it, but it's like the the premise is that it has a bunch of callbacks. It's it's very good. Um, and it's also got some actors and actresses in it that I really like. Um, so we're supposed to leave now, right? Swipe Omni tool. Yeah, okay. But Luke, I'm glad you enjoyed your movie. You enjoyed your movie. Soma has been um, a lot. We've had some good clips, though. I, I had a bit of a scream, a yell. I had a, a moment where I was startled quite badly. Um, oh, look at this guy. Are we friends? Can we be friends? I would like to be friends. I don't know if we're supposed to be friends, but I would like to. Um, also, just to test, check the, uh, check where we're at, does anyone in chat have a rough idea of how far through this game I am? How much about is left? If there's, I assume there's a couple of hours, but I don't actually know. <laughs> Underwater Roomba goes purr. <laughs> Mech 
malfunction. Use alternate entrance. What? Excuse. Where is this alternate entrance? Is it in a whole other area? All right. Out we go. That's fine. We can use the back door. I'm cool with it. I do like that outside of the rooms, we don't have a whole lot of actual monsters. Like, sometimes something will show up, but it's never been anything too scary. 80% done? 80 to 85? Okay. Alright. Maybe we will finish it tonight. We'll see. This, um... I wouldn't advise walking on this. Oh, in Veteran Run, I assume... The right way. I assume you're talking about Back for Blood. I have been... needing to play more of that. It's just like... It's really, really fun. I really like it. Why are we getting so much static? We haven't seen any monsters yet. Game. Stop preparing me for there to be monsters. But yeah, I, I do want to play more Back for Blood. I might play some tomorrow, we'll see. Um, I think I prefer it as an off-stream game than for an on-stream game, is what I've gathered thus far. if you, you cleared Act 1 and then didn't touch it again. Yeah, I think we got a little further than Act 1 when I played it, but we were also playing it, like, on easy. Play State of Decay. I think the thing is I don't really play multiplayer games all that often, and if I do, it's more... I prefer more couch co-op than online, but That's also nice. for, like playing games on Twitch, you kind of have to play online multiplayer if you want to play with people. That's just, like, how it goes. Because, you know, it's Twitch. It's Twitch and the people I'm playing with are miles and miles away. He doesn't have a head. You want to finish Back for Blood on Veteran, but it's tough to get a solid squad together. Yeah, it is. It's it's hard to get people, the same group of people every week. Do we go left or right, y'all? Contaminant FB. Or just red light. Emergency life support. I guess scheduled Gloomhaven night for Wednesdays now, so scheduling another long form type of game will be rough. Yeah. Um, I really want to play some more like legacy board games with people, like in person. Um, but it's again, it's like really hard to find people who are willing to do it like every week or even every other week. Quit with the heartbeat in my ear. I don't need it. It's just a mouse. Simon. Chill the fuck out. You're gonna be fine. Whoa! Did he say I need to destroy it? Gonna lurk for a bit, but good luck with the spooks. Thank you, Dave. I was, I was let me make sure I didn't miss anything in chat. If they give you checkpoints, you're gonna lose them. Yeah. Is he still there? I don't think so.
Oh, I hate the sound. I'm getting so quiet because I'm getting so tense. Why did it just keep saying we have to stop it? I hate it. Good. At a point, I feel like I should just walk around and just like not be crouched, just walk around like there's literally nothing here until proven otherwise. You know? I don't know what the fuck's in here, but it looks like we're gonna have to put something in there. There's a bunch of medical stuff here. Don't know what the fuck this is all about. Long hallway, let's do it. Let's just fucking go. It's just, it's the chasing. It's like the running and being chased that really gets me, I think, in this, anyways. Like, I can hide from the spooks and I'll be okay, but like, the minute that they make me run, I'm like, I'd rather die. Because it's just too much. That was what was really bad for me with Outlast, is there was a lot of that in the start of Outlast, and I was just like, I can't. I just, uh, you, you. Is this Omicron? Everything is so basic, so limited. I hope it's not the Amidul falling apart. Okay, we need to find you a power suit, you know, so we can go into the abyss without ending up like a recycled can of soda. You think we'll find one that fits me? I mean... I'm kind of in a suit already. That's been bothering me too. You know how you were transferred from Vancouver? Toronto. From then to now. How could I forget? Okay, so we do it again. You want to send me to the future? No, you idiot. I want to transfer your mind into a new body. What? Look, we already know it can be done. We don't need to make it a big deal. It is a big deal, Kath. It's a huge fucking deal. There's got to be something else that can take us down there. But Dunbat at Theta was the only vessel that could take that pressure, and you saw what happened. Then think of something else. Simon, please. You don't have to switch this instant. Just play along for now. If we find something else, then great. If not... I'm not promising anything. Thank you, Simon. Have a look around the room. This is where they would keep the power suits, if there are any left. I mean, I think we should just do it. Like. I think it's silly not to. Unless, like, I don't know. Oh, gross. Nice. I found one of the power suits. There's a dead woman inside. At least I think it's a woman. Just like the body we found in the annex. She's missing her head. Gross. This could work in our favor, though. Look for a terminal nearby, see if you can boot it up. Also, I'm sorry that I'm just talking about how... what kinds of spooks spook me. Like, constantly. Because it's all I can think about right now. You're really dragging your feet through Kingdom Come. Super into it for the first th 13 chapters. Um, some of the main storylines should have been made side quests. Oh, that's that's always kind of annoying, right? I feel that way about Skyrim. Like, there was a couple of main storylines in Skyrim that I was like, this could have been a side quest. But I did them all anyways, so it didn't really matter. <laughs> Don't need a bottle opener for that human. He's a twist off. <laughs> uh. High, pro um, high pressure power suit guaranteed to withstand temperatures spanning from 50 degrees Celsius to negative 75 Celsius, while keeping a steady 40 degrees Celsius default on the inside. The suit will automatically shield the wearer from pressure and maintain the normal one uh, ATM up to a depth of 500 meters. Uh, atmosphere uh, pressure. I know it's atmosphere pressure, but whatever. Uh, the onboard controller monitors the wearer's physical state and is able to minimize risk of shock, shock 
hyperventilation, and even dehydration. Uh, usage. The suit is easily assembled through rotating neck uh, and wrist rings that locks the gloves and helmet in place. Note that the joints won't seal unless the controller is able to identify a wear through a set of sensory systems. Suits may, lo uh, may be locked to, specif uh, to specific personnel, but as the default suit will accept anyone. The controller is uh, the onboard computer monitoring pulse, brain activity, body temperature, and stress through skin uh, conductance. It uses this information to provide the wearer with the safest experience. Sounds cool. Wait, uh... Was there anything else? Ah, tracking. I see, okay. Activation! This was pod D. Not exactly hey. grade A material. Don't write it off just yet. Remember what we found out at Theta. The suit you are wearing is basically just a Cortex chip working a few pints of structure gel powered by the on-suit battery pack. And a dead comic, image and read. Exactly. If you think about it, we're actually incredibly lucky. We found a suit with an already dead body inside. I guess you're right. What about the wow? What makes you think it'll play along? It's not magic, it's algorithms. A set pattern. The wow won't be able to deny us, even if it was capable of wanting to. I'm still not crazy about this plan. It feels wrong. Please, Simon. I can't give up on the Ark. I need this to work. So we need a Cortex chip, structure gel, and a battery pack. That's one hell of a shopping list. I'll just hang around here if that's okay. I'll be back. All right, we have to go get some stuff. We're gonna go get some stuff. The biggest problem for you is once you've played it for about three hours, you've seen it all. There's no biomes or neat little corners to discover. Um, it's just a Saxon hillside. You actually booted up Rogue Legacy 2 for the first time in a while this morning. You've added, it's added so much content, but I think it's still in early access. Is it really still in early access? I don't know very much about it, to be honest. Oh, this is just like the, the, it, this is just the how to go outside door. Okay. Okay, so now we have to go back to the spooky area. Don't forget, we need a Cortex chip, structure gel, and a power pack to get the suit ready. Yep, those three things. I will remember. Oh god, I hope I don't die. Do you have anything I need? Do you have anything I need? You know what? Let's not fuck with the physics in this game. It will come back to haunt us. Anything in here? Probably not. That'd be too easy. That. <gasps> Please don't. Jesus. I'd rather if you just fucking not. Stop telling me to stop the fucking wow. I'm not into this. This is not okay. That door is locked. All right, let's go in this door. Uh. I might be getting towards my limit of playing this tonight. I really wanted to finish this, and I'm sure there's only like an hour left, but god damn. It's like... This ends up being like a super spooky area, I don't know.
Where are we supposed to go? Stop it. So scary. Can we use that suit? Is this how we came in? This was how we got in. Okay. Alright, so this we ignored the first time, and we just went to where we were supposed to be. We can't open any of those doors, so we have to go this way. Again. I swear, I'm gonna start having nightmares, though. Like, <laughs> I'm actually shocked that I didn't have any after the first day of playing this. Oh, stop it! Did we read these already? I don't even know if I want to. There's too many weird noises. Does this unlock rooms? Override. Looking away for a moment. Listen to me. Oh, what? Oh, I have to like light them all up? Okay. We have to stop it. Okay. Got it. Got it. Cool. All these doors are open. Where am I? What door is opening? What's happening? So, what I don't understand is like, so the wow is telling us to shut down the wow, which is weird, is, is what I'm gathering right now, but I'm not sure why. That's, well. No. Enjoy your shower. Yo, we found one of the things. God damn it. Why does nothing work in here? What are you gonna do? Why is there a rat with a thing on its head? Okay. Connectivity. The structure gel has been charged and actually keeps going for a while, even when removed from a power source. If applied to circuits, it seems to help with con uh, connectivity. It seems... Like, it's not only connectivity, but functionality. The gel can make simple machinery work and act more efficiently. However, the modifications that WoW has made to the gel are full of extra information that doesn't necessarily make sense. When applied to something more complicated, it causes the gel to act as a cancer upon the host, eventually ruining it. We could use the gel to our advantage, but it seems to be uncalibrated to get rid of the bad code pathology. Applied gel to dead mouse. The gel caused the mouse to appear alive. It was put into the same habitat as a living mouse. The reanimated mouse was apathetic while living with one seemed stressed. While the living one seemed stressed. After 15 minutes the re- listen, God damn it. The reanimated mouse attacked and killed the living mouse. Half an hour later the reanimated mouse stopped moving. The corpse was solid as the gel uh, had hardened within it progress the reanimated reanimated another mouse with structure gel this time it was done with uncalibrated gel as produced by uh, Ames the results were impressive the thing appeared catatonic but it's more of a sleepwalker to avoid the thing hardening as before 
Uh, electromagnets are used to cause a low electrical current within the animal. This has also provided us with ability to somewhat control it. Chemical analysis. The structure gel remains unchanged on a fundamental level. This is the same crosslink gel with aligned graphene, polyunsaturated matrix uh, that was installed throughout Pathos 2 a few years ago. The problem is not the gel, but its controller, the WOW. The gel has not taken on any new properties. The WOW simply uses it in ways that we would not ever have dreamt of. Why are we, why does it want us to destroy the WoW? That's what I don't understand yet. Overwhelming evidence concludes that all deformed creatures, the fish, the sharks, and even the helpers were uh, manipulated by the WoW via structure gel. They have had some manner, uh, in some manner been exposed to charged gel and in turn uh, stricken by a cancerous growth that appears, that, had, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> they've in turn, struck by cancerous growths that affect their whole being. It's difficult to ask when talking about an AI, but it all started shortly after the comet killed the surface. I can't say for sure if it's a bad code or carefully programmed mercy killing, but it looks like it's not going to make things easier for us to survive. Okay. So it's a poor little mouse. Okay. So we have to get in here somehow. Oh. Did we just get the chip that we need? That's convenient. Poor little mousy wowsy. What a poor thing. All right, I can't click that. Oh, what's this? What's this? Uh, structure gel connector. Never seen something of that speed. Okay. Let's go in here. Next to logical place to be. Dispense gel! Go for it. Just pour it on there. We good? Can I come take this now? Can I can I take it? Uh, maybe not. Do I have to put more gel on it? Oh. Do we have to put it in a different one? Oh, there's a mouse in that one. Okay. Figuring this out. Figuring this out. Loof, what's your next game? What's, what are you, what are you playing next Shit if you know <laughs> Look at that poor thing Poor guy All right, we got a fancy chip. Can we repair this now? Oh, heck yeah, give me that. Can I take the chip back? Don't we still need a chip? I guess we don't need that chip. All right, one thing is down. We got one of the things that we need. Marbles! <laughs> Just play marbles on stream forever. That'll be your primary game. If you knew, you wouldn't have played marbles for two and a half hours today. Fair enough. I, I've got, like, so many things that I want to play on stream. I want to play, um, 
uh, that that bird game, the crow game, Death's Door, Death's Hollow, Death's Stranding, Death's, I don't know, one of those. Um, I think it was Death's Door. Uh, but I want to play that. Um, yeah, Death's Door. I also want to play, um, there's a game, um, there's a game away from home something like that no longer home i think uh that's a little indie game that i'm curious about hi it's important i'm getting less spooked as you can tell All right, I, it doesn't seem like I can move stuff around. Maybe I have to go to this side first, get everything we need here, and then it'll let us unlock other areas. Yeah, so... What's this? up on a couple of old games that I've never played. So I've never actually played Braid. Um, I gave it a try once for like a couple of minutes and just like decided it wasn't the game for me. Uh, and I think I just didn't try it for long enough to really get the mechanics and, and therefore just quit on it too soon. So I want to try Braid again. Um, you don't know if Braid holds up really? That's sad. Because, like, it was such a, a staple in gaming, right? Like, it was a big fucking deal for a really long time. I'm not going to touch it. I don't need it. I don't want it. Is there really nothing in this room? I haven't seen, like, anything to do in here. Let's check in here one more time. I just, like, don't believe that there's nothing in here. But yeah, I don't know. I feel like it's a classic game that I should play at some point. Like, just to kind of have context for all the games that came after it. Um, also, I will say, just something I've been thinking about... One thing I love about this game is that nothing that's, like, in the drawers is actually, like, required, I don't think. Uh, confirmed a correlation between the overlo overloaded systems and the corpse of Dr. Ross. I was able to shield off the corpse inside the glass for a couple of seconds and witnessed a massive drop in the readings. Uh, if we really have to keep Ross inside Omicron, I suggest finding a way to erect a permanent barrier to avoid severe system malfunctions. Uh, WoW is definitely repairing Ross's corpse, the most insane thing I've ever encountered. Something uh, the WoW primarily regulated to the structure gel inside the walls is bombarding the corpse with every system it can access. The glass jar is surrounded by an unhealthy amount of electromagnetism and radiation which seems to be instructing gel already stuck inside Ross's body. Not sure what the WoW expects to happen when it's restored, but at least all the crazy should stop when the body hits 100%. Neat. Like, that was cool world building, but I didn't feel like I had to read it to progress the game, you know? And that makes me happy, because I kind of hated that in Amnesia, where you're just, like, scared shitless, just, <laughs> is there oil? <laughs> Don't need it. Is there really nothing to do in here? Fuck. Some garbage. 
Uh, so you'd say it helped create the indie standard? Yeah. And that's what I'm talking about, right? I love indie games so much that I should know what, what was one of the, the first. Ah, oh, God, every time. Alright, so we've been in all of these rooms, so is it gonna let me... change anything now? This is the where we are, right? Get the virus. Garbage. Um, how do I go to the lower level? So this is where we are, right? Okay, so we have to go back and then there's a staircase down there. This way? Through the laboratory? No. Wait, really? Do we go straight back? I think we go straight back. No, but this doesn't look right. This is where we just were. Earlier. We're gonna figure this out. We're gonna figure this out, you guys. Oh. Okay. I'll check in here just like one more time. Okay, so this is clean room. And then the biosafety cabinets. Okay. Let's go back. I think that the you are here isn't exactly where we are. It's like close. Man, my shoulders are so tired from yesterday. Maybe that's not where we are? Airlock, power room, but we're not here. Was that the biomech lab, maybe? Maybe we're supposed to go to the right? Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Hydrophonics. Yeah, okay. So there's a stairwell over that way and a stairwell this way. We want to go down. Have we been here? Yeah, we've been here. I thought this was where we came in from. Oh, it's talking about a different door. It's talking about the front door, the, specifically the door that we didn't come in. Okay, okay. Now these doors we have to unlock. I get it. You made coffee to keep up with this. Oh my God, Pika, don't, uh, um, uh, don't ruin your sleep schedule on my account. I do appreciate it, but the VOD will always be there. Alright, so we've unlocked the room now. So we can go in here. It's already ruined, don't worry. <laughs> no. Oh, you guys. Oh, this is new. This is new. We have not been here. Ha <laughs> ha. Success. Oh, more puzzles. Okay. Uh. What do I do with it? Oh. Um. help you. I will go faster just for you, Pika. Uh. How do I interact with that puzzle, though? <gasps> we can unplug it. 
Can we unplug it? No. What about this one? What do we do with this? Where does this go? Maybe nowhere, I guess? I don't know. Is this helpful to me? Jim Pika's doomed. <laughs> Orc, orc was found. Uh, fantastic. It's from someone who's never slept more than four hours a night until you were in your late thirties. <laughs> slept a slower, a, a, slept, got a solid eight hours of sleep every night, and you don't, and you don't eat your wreck. I was the same way, especially in college. Like everyone would do all nighters in college. I never could. Like I needed the seven to eight hours, or I just like couldn't fucking function. It was awful. Um, Six to seven at the strongest. Yeah, I just... I I sleep too much. <laughs> How do I interact with this puzzle? Oh, oh, shit. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Uh Why is nothing happening? What am I missing? Like, I feel like I'm missing something super obvious, but, like, nothing's lighting up, nothing's giving me any kind of indication. Oh. Time, time not length. Don't take that sentence out of context. <laughs> um, is everyone here in their 30s or older? I am 27. 29, still young. E. You're the baby here. That's okay, Pika. Your partner and I had to sleep properly during school, but you would stay up all night cramming. I'm 26. We're all kind of around the same age-ish. Well, Alright, what am I missing here? Oh! We don't need the comms. Master puzzle solver over here. Bingo. Alright, cool. So we're done with this room. We can just fucking leave. What about this room over here? You're 26 with back problems of a 60 year old. I feel you, okay? So like my posture, like right now it's okay, but most days I'm like this. And it's, I'm starting to feel it in my neck. It is, it is becoming like an issue. I have to like really put the effort in to sit up straight and, ugh. Into the abyss, take it to alpha in the abyss. It's not excited, it's not. Not cool. Put some foreshadowing there. Take and find Tau and Alpha. Take the gel to Alpha. 
if I have to. Strasky, are you there? I hear you, Herbie. What's up? Uh, just wanted to check in. I have to go do something. I might not be around for a few days, okay? Rally her relieving the listening post? Must be important. Oh, I've got it suggestions for you, Loof. One second. It is. Okay, no Fortnite in this safe. group. <laughs> um, I love game soundtracks. Adore them. I have listened to them all the time. Um, for work, for playing board games, everything. FTL, Faster Than Light, fantastic soundtrack. Um, all of the super giant games, Bastion, Transistor, Pyre, all of it, really excellent. Uh, Journey, uh, by that game company, really, really good. Uh, Abzu, uh, is also very good. Similar kind of, like, background-y kind of wateriness. Um, Dust Wars, I haven't listened to that. Um, Subnautica, I think, has a phenomenal soundtrack also. Those are just a couple off the top of my head, but the, ugh, ugh, every day. I have a very soothing voice. Oh, thank you. I've been, like, really trying to put effort into not sounding, like, too scratchy, you know? I'm not used to talking this much as, like, since I've started streaming, so it's, it's something that I've put effort into, and I appreciate it. <laughs> Uh, okay. What's this one? Can you hear us? Cloud and clear. Everyone all right? We will be as soon as we make friends with the power suits. I'm sure you'll get used to it. Just wanted to check in before we pass the last working Lumar probe. Guys, any last words to Omicron? Don't forget to pick us up. You uh, heard that, right? Don't worry. We won't forget. All right. Heading into radio silence. Good luck, guys. Austin Winnery. Yes. So good. So good. Tau, please respond. This is Rally Herber calling from Omicron. Please respond, Tau. Unable Celeste to connect. also Umar has a great soundtrack. Out of range. Yeah, yeah. Journey is such a fucking enigma. Love it. Yeah, Journey was one of my favorite games for a very long time. I actually did a cosplay of it um, where I made the robes into, like, a sundress, and I did kind of, like, a modern, like, wearable version of it, and I lined the trim of the dress and the sleeves with L-wire so it glowed, and then the scarf that I had uh, also glowed. Uh, it had an L panel behind it. I was so proud of that costume. I'll throw a picture in the Discord after after the stream. Unable to connect. Lumar relay out of range. Okay. Oh, that's just a poster. I thought that was like a window outside, actually. Um, okay, so not much in this room. That's fine. Pokemon. <laughs> it was a- I was really proud of it. I did it a few years ago. I don't even know if it still fits. Well, I'd rather if you stopped. Did I get everything in here? I think I only have two of the three parts I need, but... Went in there, and I don't think we can open that door, right? We're just... we just can't go that way? So next we're gonna have to go to upper. Okay. Let's go up. Unless there's something in here, but no, that's just the way out. So now we have to go all the way up to the top. Pretty sure. Just had to say it. <laughs> I do remember that the soundtrack in the newest Pokemon, Pokemon Shield, was pretty good. I do remember that. Like, especially in the, the big areas. Did we go in here? Yeah. Yeah, because we... Wait, no, maybe not. I don't remember.
remember this room. Maybe we didn't. No, maybe we... I don't know. I don't fucking know. There's nothing in here for us anyways. Alright, ready for another spook? Oh, stop it. Alright, so I think we just have to go back through here. Just don't look at fucking anything. We'll go down this way, see if there's a staircase. Oh, there sure is. Of course, it's behind a blast door. We're just... Um... It's hard to answer the question, what makes great background noise? Lately, so lately I've been listening to a lot of, um hang drums or pan hand pans um i don't know if anyone else really likes those but those are such fucking good background music and they use some in the subnautica soundtrack and that might be part of why i love it so much i do have to unlock some rooms don't i Yeah, some good lo-fi. Alright. I kind of want to look around on this side first. Main entrance. Never mind. Don't need that. Alright, let's go to the power room. You falling asleep while playing Skyrim? The Skyrim background music is really good. I've, I've listened to that while playing D&D &D and stuff. I feel like that's the obvious time to listen to it. I dislike that it the game just saved. Oh, that's that sucks. That guy is moving. Oh, damn it. This doesn't go through. Do I have to go th in here? You know I definitely have to. <laughs> Pika, I'm here. I'm here for you. We're gonna be okay. anything in here? Why am I here? Why am I playing this game? Let's just leave them alone. If we come back here, if we find out we have to, we will. But you know what? Until we have to, let's just not. Yeah, why, why suffer? Exactly, Pico. We don't have to be here right now, so we'll just go. If we need to come back later, we might. We'll just close that door. Let's open this door. I don't like that there's a little easy to dart into door there. That bothers me. Power room. We don't we don't need any power. We're clearly powerless here. Are we in the cafeteria? Does anyone need any? I thought that was going to be tea, and it certainly wasn't. Oh, this definitely seems like a room where I'm not going to find anything that I need. Which I'm not crazy about. <laughs> try? Did I try hello, neighbor? I haven't. 
That's that is a game, right? All right, there's nothing in the other room. Therefore, I think we have to go through here and I hate it. There's a creepy dude with a mustache that follows you around. That sounds like hell. <laughs> It's a stealth horror game about sneaking into your neighbor's house and figuring out what he's hiding in the basement. People will come up with anything for an indie game these days, huh? Yo, who's excited for Stray, though? Anyone? Do we have to sneak by this guy? Do we have to, like, grab something and, like throw it in a different direction than we're going. Is that not working? God, I hate this. What am I supposed to do here? I'm so you know what? We're just gonna die. We're just gonna fucking die. We're just gonna- we're just gonna fucking do something and see what happens, alright? Alright, y'all. We're just gonna open this fucking window. We're just gonna not think about it. We're just gonna walk right- right away from him. I went the wrong way. We're dead. We're dead. <laughs> I, I do like this, this, you get hit once and you're okay, just get away and you'll be okay. Like, you don't lose your progress. I do appreciate that. It does make the game actually bearable. If, if you had to retry everything, I think I, I wouldn't be able to play this. It's like I get spooked enough, they don't have to torture me too. How the fuck did I get in here? Is this way the elevator? Or the staircase? Gonna lurk for a bit? No problem, Bridge. Take it easy. Have a better time than I am. Please. Um, stray, cat strand type game. Yeah. Raise his hand, what's stray? Yeah, it's a cat simulator. Yeah, you get to play as a cat and you're like going through, I don't know, a city. It looks like it's pretty linear, but it looks very pretty. Like it looks like they did a very good job on it. So I'm excited for it. Not excited about the loading screen. Do any of these have one of those? We don't want to go down. Uh, I anticipated it. It's okay, I was anticipating it. I'll follow you there. I'd rather you fucking didn't. Where are we... I don't remember which way we're going. I 
I think we went the right way. Yeah. Oh my god. It sounded like that didn't work. Shut the door, Cap. Shut Lock the door, shut the door, shut the fucking door. Lock the door. It's locked. What's going on? I managed to piss off another one of WoW's monsters. Oh my god. We have everything we need, right? Yeah. Let's get to work. Take all the shit. Yeah, but that's crazy. Don't worry, it'll work. Make sure it's all bunched together with the structure jam connecting all the parts. All right, sorry guys, I was like barely reading chat all through right, all of that. Um, you tried it on Switch. Wait, what game? Wait, Pico, what game are you talking about on Switch? Oh, stretching. Just, just reward myself. I got through the bad part. Oh, hello, neighbor. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Right. That's what we were talking about. It's cool that they're putting all these, like, horror and spooky games on Switch. I'm, like, really impressed that Nintendo is allowing such a thing to take place. It's pretty cool. Not just keeping it 100% for, for kids. God damn. I can't believe we're doing this. It will be fine. Then why don't we put you in the suit? Pika, I've gotta watch you play a, like a spooky game. game. Not even like a you crazy horror me. game, but just something like with a little bit of spook. <laughs> I'd be there. I need to launch the arc. You'd really do it. Change Bob. Yes. If you wanna stay here, I'm not gonna stand in your way. I don't want to tell you what to do. Well, be like oh, before. get me out of here. That's Close fine. My eyes and, and... and then open them again. All right, let's do it. Thank you, son. Go sit in the pilot seat in the next room. You might need to boot it up. You got it, Kath. Uh, before we do this, I'm going to have another quick BRB. I just have to use the restroom. I'll be real, real quick. Be right back. 